All right, you guys, welcome back. Today is going to be a different video. It's a highly requested video from you guys, and I'm just going to show you how I tune drums, and it's very, very simple. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. I am, by all means, no expert in tuning drums. I just tune by my ear, and yeah, so hope your drum sets are ready and you got at least one drum key, and here we go. So basically... You want to start off and make sure that all of your toms is finger tightened. And for those who don't know what that is, it's basically go through all the lugs and tighten them as tight as you can with your fingers. All right. And I already did that with these. So the next step is start with each drum and push down. When you push down on the drums, it's going to show a whole bunch of wrinkles. This is the best way to get you started. All right. So. When you push down, go through each lug and where you see the wrinkles, keep twisting until those wrinkles go away. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so I got rid of all of the wrinkles, and uh, let's start with this one. So you just want to hit the drum and see what it sounds like first. So, all right, so that's actually kind of. Make sure it's really important to just use your ear when you're doing stuff like this. Now, what I do right now. Um, let me try all of them. Okay, so what I'm looking for when I start doing this part is basically I want to get each drum to just sing whatever note I'm hearing. So instead of sounding like this, but I actually want it to sing louder. So what you want to do for that is basically go through and loosen and tighten each lug and just keep going around until you get that time to start singing. All right, so here we go. Now here's the thing, I just want to let you guys know, I started with this lug here, and I actually got the sound that I wanted, but I saw that it was some more wrinkles on this side that started appearing, so I tightened that part back up, and I'm going around now, instead of going to this lug, I'm going around to try to get that sound again without those wrinkles. So I'm starting to get the sound that I want, but there's more wrinkles over here. So I need to tighten this side up and then come around here to try to get that sound back without getting more wrinkles. Alright, so I got it to start singing, but it, you, you guys heard that flat sound at the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start tightening up some more. It's always important to go back to the next drum and then go back 
to get the sound that you want. So you want it to, since this one sounds like this, I want that to sing all the way down. So I want those notes to come back, come down. So now I'm moving to the floor tom. Now with the floor tom, it's a little bit different. I want to actually get it as deep as I can. So I'm going to loosen them all up and start tightening a little bit all around to just get the sound that I want. I don't want to go too high on the floor tom. Sometimes I <laughs> I just randomly would uh, use the kick too, just to like just a little little baby feel to just hear how the drum sound. So that's I like how they sound right now. Um, if if you was doing this with me and you guys still don't uh, like the sound, just mess around again. Like I said, with the lugs until it starts to that note starts to really sing. And yeah, that's about it. Aren't you guys? So I actually tuned this one down a little more because it was a little too high. So it's the same process. I loosen the lugs all around, hitting the drum, looking forward to that note to start singing again. 
just at a lower note, all right? So, all right, so I, I, I like the way it sounds right now. So we're going to give a test run. If you guys stick to the end of this video, you guys are lucky enough to check out this real quick cover that I'm finna do. It's this Michael Jackson remix, and I'll leave the one that created the track down in the description below. Make, you can get that track from him, all right? So, yeah, let's see how these drums sound in the cover. Here we go.